Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into the world of Brevo Automation and showing you how to streamline your workflows for maximum productivity. Whether you are a busy entrepreneur or just looking to reclaim your time, Brevo is your secret weapon for automating repetitive tasks and supercharging your productivity. So, without further ado, let's begin! Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here on Brevo, you might want to click on the create an account option here. Now, it's very easy to create an account, no credit card needed. All you're going to do is continue signing up with your Google account, your Apple account. And by clicking this button right here, you're all set. Now, Brevo offers automation features to streamline various marketing and business processes, while specific tutorials may vary based on the functionalities you want to automate. We are going to guide you on how to set up automation in Brevo, alright? Because why Brevo automation, you ask? Well, for one, its intuitive interface and powerful features empowers you to automate a wide range of processes from email campaigns and social media posts to data entry and customer support. Now, if you are a fan of this channel, you might want to click on some of the uh, video tutorials that we have in the past. And for the automation, what we need to do is go to the left side panel of your dashboard, click on automations. All right. And from here, again, just a quick disclaimer that specific tutorials may vary based on the functionalities you want to automate. But for in general, the first thing you need to do is to choose a trigger. Okay. And before doing that, you need to click on the create an automation in the upper right or just click here. But if you're not sure, you might want to click on this link right here. But click on this option here now as if we have mentioned earlier we need to set up triggers for our automation because that initiates the automated workflow now uh, triggers can include actions such as new contact being added to your database a form submission an email open or a specific date or time but the most popular automations that is right now in brevo platform is uh, the uh, abandoned cart you can automate to send a message after a contact abandons a cart you can set a trigger after a product purchase when say for example you can send a message when a product is purchased on your website you can also set a trigger wherein you can send a welcome message after a subscriber joins your list you can send or you can create a trigger when send to send messages based on whether contacts open or click an email campaign you can create a trigger that sends a series of messages based on a special event or birthday now that's the most popular but you can also hover down here on the all option in terms of the improved engagement these are the uh suggested um triggers or automation that you might want to do say for example um you can send a message after a contact performs a specific action on your website and if you hover through to the increased traffic again you can create a trigger that sends a message after a contact visits a specific page on your website in terms of increasing your revenue you can set a trigger that sends a message based on whether contacts open or click an email campaign in in terms of building our relationships obviously the welcome message is one of the best part of it now let's head over to the create an, an automation right you can use the classic editor and from here you can create your automation using the uh this one now you can name your automation Type a name that you'll easy to remember, which is obviously Brev Automation Tutorials. And now, in terms of the description, you need to craft a compelling message right here. It depends, and you can explain what automation is about in a few words. Say, for example, this one. And once you're sure of that, 
You also have the option to allow your contacts to enter the automation more than once or not and click on create automation. It'll just load up. You will see the status right here. Now, you will be directed to another uh, page here wherein you can add an entry point and you can add new conditions. Now, for add an entry point, when you click on the plus button, all right, you can select an entry point to a workflow such as email activity, contact details, a contact submits a form, an event happens, website activity. But for now, let's uh, choose the first one, which is email activity. Now, from there, you also have a subsection of choices from email marketing activity to transactional email activity. Let's uh, choose the transactional. Now, to start this workflow, one of your contacts, you need to create a new template here. And again, from here, you can, um, in subject line, you can also click on the show advanced options right here from the customize the reply to email address to the field and you can even activate google analytics if you have an access to uh, google analytics you can do that you can even use a custom update profile form but that's going to be on a separate video you can also specify a tag if you wanted right here you can add an attachment all you're going to do is select a file and once you've done that you need to proceed to the next step or you can click on the uh, design now from the design you can uh, basically choose or create a template because brevo typically offers a variety of pre-designed email templates to choose from now you can browse through the available options and select a template that best fits your needs alternatively you can start a custom template from scratch but for now let's use this one right here now you have an option when you click this one and as you can see once you've chosen this template you can customize it to match your branding and message you can use brevo's drag and drop editor you can drag a button here you can drag a video you can drag and you can drag an uh, image right here and you can Customize the fonts right here. Add different color in the style. Click on that. All right, so So basically, you can do a lot. And once you are sure about this, you can view it on the mobile mode right here. And you also have the option to view it on the desktop mode, whichever is your preference. And once you've done that, you can set up your brand. You can, in the upper right corner, there's an ellipsis, the three dots icon. You have the version history, which is wherein you can revert back. You can preview right here. Also, you can put a recipient for the review. You can refresh. You can send test email if you wanted. But uh, I believe before you can do that, you need to upgrade your basic plan for you. Ca you can have the A, B, and testing emails. And once you've done that, all you're going to do is click on X. And you can save it or save as PDF. It depends on your preference. But for now, let's click on save. And once we are here, obviously, you can send a test. But again, from here, you can enter the email address. And you can enter one or more email address or separated by commas. Because it is very important before sending the uh, automation. Preview the template to ensure it looks and functions as, it, as intended. So you can send a test email to yourself or a small group to check for any formatting issues or errors. And once you've done that, all you're going to do is click on the uh, save and activate. And once you've done that, your first automations would be reflected here. You have the options for the active, for past automations and inactive, which is what we have right now. 
and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one